Good morning everyone, I'm David with Guns.com and today we're taking a look at the new version of the Colt Mustang Pocket Light 380. This gun has a six round magazine, you can get a seventh up in the chamber. It is a lovely piece of work. There were some complaints about the old Mustangs that the way they were built, the actual materials they were constructed from, were not durable enough to stand up to a high round count and that the materials would begin to degrade, the guns would get a little bit loose and a little bit sloppy. This one hasn't yet had that number of rounds put through it, but what I see so far is something whose tolerances are very, very tight. This gun works exceptionally well. It is small. It's incredibly light. You can put it in your waistband and it disappears right there in that pocket next to your hip and your gut. You can cover it up with a shirt or a jacket easily enough, but it's very accessible. All of the controls follow the traditional 1911 style. The magazine release, which is over here. The way in which the safety works in the up and down position just like a 1911. Very intuitive if what you are used to using is a 1911. This makes a nice backup gun. It may even make a nice primary concealed carry weapon. It's incredibly accurate. We've shot this a lot and the groupings from it are really, really, really tight. I was running this yesterday alongside two other 380 pocket pistols, one from kel the P3AT, and another LCP from Ruger. And what I was finding was that the groups from the LCP and the groups from the Ruger were pretty scattered. They were loose enough. And when I was looking at an eight inch round target, the shot placement would be all over. Shot placement is made possible by what you see here with the really nice sight system on this gun. The front sight is permanent. It's a fixed. It's a blade sight that is part of the actual frame itself. It's milled right in, but it's reasonably good. It's a little bit higher than most pocket 380s. The rear sight is dovetailed. It's drift adjustable and it has a very nice high wide back on it. The edges have been rounded over a little bit. What I'm finding is with certain types of holsters this gun will fit in and if it sinks too low that back side will get caught. But if you push it in right and you get it just centered drawing is no problem at all. Shot placement with this is so incredibly easy. You can get a lot of, of hand on this gun. One, the finger on the trigger works alright. You have two fingers underneath this pinky hangs low, but my favorite part is there's enough slide here that you can actually wrap that second hand across and get the nice placement that you would want for looking at those sorts of shots. And then the trigger pull in the single action mode, which is the only way this gun functions, is really, really nice. Let's take a look here and you pull that trigger and it's just, just a dream. It probably breaks around four and a half pounds. I haven't measured it out, but it's looking at the four and a half, five pound mark, which is a little bit crisp, but it's okay. It's much better trigger pull than what you would get on any of the double action only striker fired pocket pistols. The 380s are notorious for making a, a broader pattern on a target, which is all right, because if you're firing from a defensive position, if you're looking at, at this for a tool for self-defense, you get what you get, you know, and, and shooting at an eight inch round will place you in the vital area on a human torso very, very easily. This gun, however, offers something more. It offers a little bit more precision and a little bit more accuracy, which is all right because the price is also a little bit higher. So you expect a little bit more. But the way in which it works, the way in which the Mustang works in, in conjunction with a 1911, it's kind of an invaluable resource, I think. Having the pair together, if you were to carry a full-size 1911 as a service pistol, or if you just happen to prefer that for your daily carry, that's all right. You'll never miss with a gun like this because you pick it up and everything you have is right there, right where you know it to be. Now the construction on this is nice. You've got the steel and the aluminum, but you don't notice it necessarily when it's on your hip. Fits in there just nicely. Is easily covered up. You can ride it on the, the hip, you can pull it in back, it disappears into a pocket, it disappears into a pocket of a coat. What you have with this is a very versatile, completely accessible, wonderfully intuitive weapon. I would highly suggest if you were in the market for something for concealed carry, that this be your first 
look. The Colt Mustang. The new one. It's a wonderful little gun. Intimidating enough to look like a gun for simple threat deterrent. Accurate enough for reliable shot placement. Now, uh, the rain is setting in and things are beginning to get a little wet, so I'm going to call it and go on in.